Okay, so uh, if I recall, like you roll the black bread anymore, like, listen, bro. Of course it all we should like that. Spent 10 racks at Lennon's. I ain't had to do it in a minute. Cush me a jet like lemon. Used to have a driver go get it. Now I just tell them niggas send it. Pair like beer, get a nail did. I ain't had to do it in a minute. All my hoes independent. All these hoes be friendly. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, my hoes ain't friendly. Yeah. So, uh, if I recall, like I said, I, I came to Abner around 8th grade. Um, and uh, as I start to know y'all, whether football team, because I tried out for the basketball team as well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't sleep on me because I'm big, bro. You know what I'm saying? You've been on seven, nigga. You've been on seven. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Still, all due respect, bro, for Mr. Floyd. But what the hell happened with that fight? You got to fight you in, in the cafeteria in high oh, school man, with them red that. gloves on. Damn, the nigga remember that. Hey, and like, you know the nigga. And, and check this out. Dude, and check this out. I told you tight. Tight, yeah, tight, real Yeah, I remember that. that shit was crazy, but you got a good memory. So, could you, could you elaborate on that? Like, what yeah, happened? Yeah, I, I was on some young dumb shit. I was just on some young dumb shit. You got to think, bro. I was straight from the west side. Yeah, right? I was from high school. Sure. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? When I came, I wasn't known to nobody. Me and Bro almost got to him when I first met him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't know. I'm coming straight from the west side. So, well, as I got past eighth grade and got on to Abigail High, I, you know how I was, young, dumb. I just wanted to pop some shit off. But I think Tank ripped me up and said, a nigga said, fuck me. I'm going to fuck me or some crazy shit. Smoke crazy shit. And I was just ready to be, I was just ready to pop off. I was taking time. I was just ready to do some stupid shit. So I end up, I, what I end up popping up, sneaking the nigga while he was eating, bro. The nigga was eating, yeah, bro. Yeah, I yeah, him in. We got the head and all that. And then the officer grabbed me. I turned around. I swung on his ass. Yeah. And then he slung you in the he cafeteria slammed, room. Yeah, he slammed me or some shit like that, yeah. And slammed the dough. R.I.P. I think he had passed. Yeah, that's why I said R.I.P. before we even spoke. Yeah, about yeah, R.I.P. Uh, I, I brought that up because I honestly heard that somebody was like, this is what I heard now, back then. And I knew I was going to get a chance to ask you eventually. I heard that, heard that you, uh, somebody dared you to do that shit for five bucks, bro. <laughs> I heard. But I said I knew that shit was too dumb. I don't even know. Right. I owe that shit. Well, all I remember, <laughs> if it was, it was Tank. I remember Tank ripping me up to do the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all I really remember, bro. I don't remember. I remember Tank said, the nigga said, fuck, man. Well, then after that, I just what? Um, whatever them nigga did, they they end up doing to get me to punt the nigga out in the car room. Yeah. So I don't know where it was, bro. I don't know what to tell him, bro. I was just some young nigga on some young nigga shit. All right, so jumping back into it, uh, I think around. So with all that being said, yeah. I'm known I'm known you for a nice man. Uh, so <laughs> it was transitioning to say, I think I've known y'all to started a rap group called the Gutter Boys. What about eighth grade? Cause I seen y'all come to school with some shirts on. Okay, uh. The fall rhythm. Yeah. The fall rhythm with me, Drago, CDG, Big J, and Reese. Yeah. Yep. Reese, it was five. Yeah. And Reese. And Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Mickey Mouse, six. But we end up. And smell it better. Yeah, we end up. Yeah, that shit end up. People end up falling off and kind of. We, we always stuck together, though, so we always. But it's a lot of good boys, though, because you should got Steve. You got Quincy. Oh, got Pete Carrio. You got Greg. A lot of them niggas fell in the four way. You got White Bye. You know what I'm they saying? Four boy, boy, they four way, boy, but they came up. Avondale, they came up with that, though. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Pete Carrio. Carrio special, man. Carrio special. Carrio special. <laughs> yeah. Only, only the true know that. And my yeah. wife going to catch that motherfucker. He know him. Every time. That and that nigga know he ain't catch that Carrio special. Boy, I'm going to go crazy on that nigga. Me and Coach. I'm putting it out for him. Coach Bill. Coach Bill. Coach Bill. Coach Bill. Coach Bill. Coach Bill. Coach But it's no longer just the gutter boys anymore. It's, uh, it's much bigger now. Uh, how did this bad mob stuff come about, though, back, back then? Shit, goddamn. That 
that shit get leaked up. Also, they can fuck right away. High school. Haven't been leaked up with Columbia. Also, hood shit, though. It, it was deeper than some high school shit. It was also hood shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though all they really from the same hood, it just, we had our little area, they had their area. We just linked up with them boys. Okay, so. And that shit turned into some shit we never, you feel what I'm saying? I never, I don't think none of us ever thought where, we're going, where it was going to be. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it just went from nothing. I, um. Okay, so, but how did it, how did it become so massive? Like, like, was it that people just wanted to join y'all because of the music? I mean, what was Black Mom? Think, what was I the group it, about? Like, honestly, like, I mean, some Nick, some people, they there for the thrill. Some people with the music fully. Some people it with. It wasn't about no music. Not that Black Mom wasn't about Black Mom ain't had nothing to do with no music. We just first. happened to rap. Like everybody, like it's just our culture, bro. We black people. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody rap, bro, and that's how it was. Like niggas just rap, but Black Marvel had nothing to do with no goddamn music. We on some street shit. You know what I'm saying? So what but, what consists of some Black Marvel shit though? Like uh, the Posse, Mastermind, Go to Boy, Shootout Boy, Shootout Girl, Goddamn J O B, Ammunition. <laughs> like that DB got you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that DB got bro. Two G twenty one hundred, but that's all you feel what I'm saying? Like two G, but then twenty one hundred, and then this shit turned to some more shit, bro. Like this shit, this shit got real deep, bro. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, you just gotta think. Coming across, I remember I had a party, my 18th birthday party. Came. Well, SOB people came. You know, uh, at that time, I think y'all was already away. Uh, and it was like 60 niggas came down the street. 60. Nigg that niggas and women. That 07 graduation year. I threw a party. But I threw a party at my mama house. No. The mall came? SOB came. Oh shit, they got six niggas along right there. Yeah, cause yeah. them your boys. Snoop SOB, SOB, them your boys. Snoop Kane. Yeah. Coda Kane. Yeah, them your boys. Yeah. Uh, Hit Kane. Yeah, exactly. Hit, My mom love Hit. Oh, they the real SOB. Yeah. All yeah. the people yeah. at the same time. Weezy yeah, yeah. Kane, and then Antonio lived down the street on the street. And uh, uh, I say that to say, uh, when they came to my house and when they left, up to 60 niggas. When, <laughs> when, when, when before they came, the party was already jumping pretty well. When they came, all the hunch punch was gone. <laughs> uh, my mom still didn't allow the smoking in the house, so they went up the street to the stop sign, smoke. But they came back. Luckily, none of that crazy shit popped off. No, it was, it was Everything cool. was coochie. Oh, that was a black mom party. And uh, I say that to say because. When you think about that many people, of course you know it's it's officially starting to look as a gang. Yeah. So when, when there's a gang, you also know there's a possibility that it's gonna be some street shit or hood shit going on. Could you elaborate on any of that? I mean, yeah, shit, it's so good. That's what that shit over. That's Black Mob with straight terrorizing. That's how that shit was. That's all, like I told you, bro. Straight we went terror. Young niggas doing young niggas shit. We was on some street shit, bro. We did a whole lot of shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that's, that's, still, how, that's, that's how the shit, that's about. how our name got out there like that. You know what I mean? Like, nigga did a whole lot of shit, bro, but that's just what it was. You know what I mean? Young nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? We was young, bro. A lot of crazy and shit. A lot of. Robbers and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? Whole man, whole lot of crazy shit. Got locked up, went to prison. So, still transitioning from the game. When would you say the game, the guns came into play? Been, man, been, 
Yeah. Before Black Mob, yeah. Me and P's had pistols. So what? And what? we were using them. Eighth grade? Yeah, we met them. Eighth grade, man. We met. Still transitioning with the gangs, right? Of course, with gangs, it also, it, it always ends up eventually being a beef. I don't care who you are. Beef always ends up happening. When beef ends up happening, even more terror and, and chaos happens. Uh, would you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, well, shit, we dealt with that too. We dealt with that too. They used to shoot at them, shoot that to you, shoot that thing. Like, this shit we dealt with every day, bro. Like, they were, we, they were just the lifestyle we were living, my nigga. Looking over your shoulder, my nigga. Even with the family shit. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like that was a a, a, a comfortable life to live? Hell yeah, no. That's why when nigga got out of prison, the whole time I'm in prison, like, nigga know, because in prison, I got to look over my shoulder. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, this ain't how a nigga All like, that shit was kind of fun until we went to prison and we had to open our eyes and see, like, damn, we were putting our people in Put our family in jail. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? I see that I didn't want to be in prison. You feel what I'm saying? Like all, all the shit we did, you know what I mean? The nigga was blessed to goddamn be able to be back out here. You feel me? Yeah. Niggas ain't trying to sit in no jail so, You know what I'm saying? That's and, your whole life. And niggas ain't trying to look over their shoulder for the rest of their life either. You feel what I'm saying? Like, cause we done did some crazy ass shit to some people. Yeah, niggas be holding grudges and shit. You know what I'm saying? So. And this shit going for years, and this shit still going on, bro. Shit that was from back in the day, come back to hunt niggas, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, nigga ain't trying to live like that, bro. You feel me? That's why we doing what we doing now, bro, trying to bring everybody together, man. And killing all that shit from back in the day. You feel me? All right, so. But we ain't trying to, we don't want niggas to keep dying, bro. You feel what I'm saying? We don't want niggas to keep dying, bro. So, uh. What made the beef start? And uh, long story short, uh, the whole time within the the especially the whole spill that I knew Hitman, Snoop, Coda, and they and they went to Avondale. I knew as far as like what all was really going on as far as like in the streets and stuff to an extent, not fully. Uh, but what 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 throughout those years I noticed a lot of gang related beefs going on especially dealing with black mob versus the fan. What would you say is a a motive for like a lot of that reckless shit that ended up going on around that time? Niggas talk, bitches talk. That's why now, with us going through all the shit that we went through, bro, and being the people that we is now, bro, we duck a lot of that cool and shit, you feel what I'm saying? Because we already know where the shit be coming from, but we done been through all that shit. And niggas be running their mouth, you know what I'm saying? That's lack of, lack of this I mean, you know how many niggas got pop running their motherfuckers? All the shit niggas was saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just learned from all that shit, bro. We just learned from all that shit. That shit make us who we is now, bro. Niggas know how to handle certain situations, you know what I'm saying? Right pocket full of them 50 Jet fuck the bitch for 50 Fuck the real quick, that's quickie Say she ain't drunk, she ain't tilted And I got blues on me now like Nielsen I'm just thinking back reminiscing Nah, I ain't had to do it in a minute I ain't been a fool in a minute 